All right, 646, are you ready for the summer heat? It is coming, but we're talking about your wallet. Is your wallet ready for it? A new study says most households are not prepared for rising energy costs. Our Alana Quillen is live this morning to tell us more about this. Good morning, Alana. Good morning, Deborah. Well, a pretty brutal heat wave is sweeping through the nation as we speak, and we know the worst of the Texas heat is just ahead of us. But unfortunately, it could impact summer fun for a lot of us. The numbers are telling us what we need to know. It's a big reminder to shore up our AC system as soon as possible. That's according to a recent study by DFW-based Duraplast, which provides components for the HVAC industry. They say 74% of households don't have a plan to deal with the financial strain, with nearly half saying they'll have to cut back on dining out and entertainment this summer, if necessary, to cover the increase. Duraplast says inflation is also hurting budgets. Prices for electricity are going up an average of 10% this summer over last, so families need to get prepared. With air conditioning units, a, a compressor failure, or other things, you could be talking about thousands of dollars that you kind of have to come up with right there, or you're going to be very hot. <laughs> Your family's going to be mad at you. You know, an increase in monthly electricity bills is nothing compared to uh, HVAC system that breaks during the summer. So what can we do to improve our utility bill? Experts tell me simply changing your air filter regularly is a first step. Taking shorter showers, air drying clothes instead of using a dryer so much, and simply setting your thermostat between 72 and 78 degrees will actually save homes a lot of money. Of course, it's not too late to have someone do a routine checkup on your HVAC system. We still haven't hit the worst of summer, so experts say it's better now than never. Live in the newsroom, Alana Quillen, NBC5. We do have a little bit of time there. Thank you so much, Alana.